Everybody, don't forget to download the mobile app. When you do, it's very easy to follow all the action that's happening here at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Tell me what you get when you download. Well, let me make it easy for you. You can not only follow your favorite team, you can get inside information about DARPA, the event itself, and get this, you can also take part in all the interesting interactivity that we have here. By the way, if you're on Twitter and you're following today, don't forget the hashtag is DARPA DRC. Again, that's all if you download the DRC Trials app. Do it now, you'll be glad you did. And I also want to pass along a little piece of business while we have a second. There are a limited number of robot training cars that are currently being given out under the Miami Homestead Speedway Tower. If you make your way over to the Homestead Miami Speedway Tower, right over there you're going to find somebody handing out robot training cars. Limited number. Get there and get there now.
until your arm look inside the challenges as they continue. We're actually going to take a little bit of a jog back over here to the Expo. Tom Van Gogh joining us once again, and this is our chance to see the expositions in action. And I just want to give you an opportunity to sort of share with all the folks who are watching here and actually watching on the Jumbotron. What are we watching here as we not only see your robot in action, we're also seeing something that's applicable right now that can obviously help save lives. So we have two dual arm robot systems uh, that are performing a rescue on a, uh, a poor mannequin named Randy who was on fire and put him out. Uh, so there are actually uh, three different organizations uh, participating to help these two robots. We have John Hodgins of Flying Systems Lab, um, Intelligent Automation Inc., and HPT Robotics. So right now, uh, Robo Sally from APL is installing a neck collar on Randy because we're going to uh, pull him out from under this rubble and we want to make sure his, uh, his, his neck is uh, not going to get any worse than it already is. Uh, so if Sally can get that collar on there, we may help a little bit with the Mark robot, which is the other dual arm. And uh, then we're going to lift some debris off of him. We'll pull Randy out and then we're going to get him on a backboard. Uh, so these are two very, very sophisticated robots. The Mark system has uh, uh, 25 different actuators arms and Robo Sally has 34. 34. Let me ask you about the vision because I'm always curious. How does a robot actually see where it's going and how do you tweak and improve that as you continue to develop the system? So these particular robots are using uh, cameras. They have cameras up uh, where the head is.